painting. Thank you. <laughs> a painting that sold for $200 at a Westchester County tag sale was really worth $30,000. And now the original owner is fighting to get it back. CBS 2's Christina Fan has a story from Larchmont. This colorful oil on canvas painting is called Country Fair and captures 88 year old Helen Justino's favorite pastime with her late husband. And for 35 years, it hung inside her Thornwood home, which is why the widow was so upset to see it now on an auction gallery's website. And that particular painting uh, was a picture of flea markets. So that meant a lot to us. That had a whole lot of meaning to us. And that's why I was holding on to it. Earlier this month, Justino held a tag sale at her home, and that's when the painting was accidentally sold. She claims the artwork had a no sale sign on it, but somehow a buyer got his hand on it. The man offered her son $200, who sold it, not knowing the artwork was actually valued at nearly $30,000. Did not know that it had any value. It just had a sentimental value to me, and it still does. I want it back and I don't want to sell it. The painting was scheduled to be auctioned off later this month at Clark's Auction Gallery in Larchmont. The owner says everything is now in limbo. November 24th is the sale we were supposed to sell it in, but we have pulled it. We reached out to the consigner, Sidney Hiller of Briarcliff, to hear his side, but he told us his attorneys are now handling the matter. John Murtaugh, who is representing the widow, is prepared to file a lawsuit. He says Justino Sud not only did not have the right to sell the painting, but also did not understand the value. The equitable thing should be done and the painting should be returned. Justino and her attorney say they hope this issue is settled amicably, with the buyer getting back his $200 and Justino her painting. In Larchmont, Christina Fan, CBS 2 News. Experts say the artwork is valued so high because it was painted by a well known American impressionist. The painting was also featured in the 1947 Maxwell House coffee ad.